Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Vermont Catamounts and the Duke Blue Devils. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Blue Devils should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them? Though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Secondly, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. And finally, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Count that as a personal foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. They look to get it to the inside. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. I want to see that again. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Trying to go inside. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Dumps it in, in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The point guard takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work the perimeter. The small forward takes the feed. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes up for two. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He shoots from right of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Look at that spacing. Too much. That's a foul. <laughs> keeps the dribble as they regroup. On the outside, way out on top, controlling the ball, cleans the glass. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Drains it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Fires away. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. <laughs> he 
pull-up jumper from way out. Sinks it. Try to feed inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Coming inside. The small forward with the ball. Controlling the ball. Taken away. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Hard foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. The shooting guard gets the pass. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. There's the trap. He takes a three, off the rim, and no good. Gave it up from three-point land. Way off target. Jumps into the defender. He gets out of the double. Hey, poor institution of a double team, Brad. These boys were taught better. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. That was nice. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. <laughs> he intercepts it. The mascot may have stolen the show on that play. He was the most excited person in the arena. The power forward gets the ball. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Kicks it out. He dials long distance. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. The frustration right there. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire.
executed. Hey, you should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Turns it over. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. That's even one. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He steps up to the line. It goes in. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Great anticipation defensively with a quarterback pass. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Gave it up. With the fadeaway, he misses the fadeaway. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Intercepted. How much fun would it be to be able to play for a school with all the hoopla and support that comes along with it? They got kids camping out for 10 hours before some games just to get tickets. Brad, that's nothing. They have kids camping out for up to three months when they play their cross-town rival, sometimes in the freezing cold. If that's not school pride, I don't know what is. For two. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. He wants a three. Way off target. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to buy him the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The high screen. Duke are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. <laughs> Time to pick up the defense here now. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Look at that spacing. Leans in. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Play about ready to resume. Shoots 
from the top of the key. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. That's good. They work the perimeter. They've left him completely alone. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. He blocks the shot. Picked out of the air. Is a three. He's money with the shot. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They're working around the arc. He's got a high post flasher. Nice move with the face up. He gets the rejection. He gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. With that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. Oh, that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Top of the circle, knocks it down. On the outside for the bucket, the land. Carter, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's going to step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. He attempts the three, goes in. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He knocks down another bucket. This down. kid's got skills, Brad. Gave it up. On the outside. He pump fakes. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Picked off. It's 
Step out on that screener. He's got the shot fit from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Meeks is pretty fired up excited. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to emotions. He does the sweet fake shot. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Launches away. The Catamounts have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here they come with a double team. Stop it. There he is. Puts the ball loose. We saw him the post reverses the ball. He launches the bomb. She kills the swatch. There's the trap. So right. Fast rate possibility coming for the bucket. is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from the top of the circle. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. He buries the shot. With a big shot, misses on a chance for three. At the half, the Catamounts are down by four. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like your team can do anything, baby, as we see in this long distance bomb. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Duke is killing the opposition on the glass in the first half. Hey, these kids know what it takes to win big games, Brad. If you can win the rebound and battle on any given night, you have a great shot of winning the ball game. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. 
All right, thanks, Aaron. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Stolen ball. Here they come now on a turnover. For two, it's good. Nice fake. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gave it up. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Instead of giving him that, he was a foul. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brad. Fong handles the feed, makes it. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Crum fakes the shot. He attempts a jump hook. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. The fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The power forward handles the pass. For the bucket. Drains it. Pushes it up. Takes away the pass. Takes the three. Brings the shot. Great defense. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. Picks off the lazy pass. Vermont have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers, ultimately. Blocks the shot, and the ball goes out of play. Take that to the basket. Number 42 with the fake. The shooting guard takes the feed. Fake. The small forward with the ball. Let's it fly. Oh, yes. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. On the outside, definitely a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Up and inside. In the post for two. Finger roll. Dribble gives it up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickie really had his shot block. It's a block party out there. When you talk about a happy group of fans, listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. On the outside, gave it up. In the pit. Great block shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. Turn around jumper. Vermont are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Shooter spotting up on a three. Frierson receives the pass. From right in the circle. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. With the fake, gave it up. Stop and pop. He makes the shot. He intercepts it. And a momentary look from three-point land. He gets the bucket. the pass. Defense got it after knocking it loose. He's money with a shot. Moving it around the perimeter. He fouled him. And he's going to pick up the foul and all look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He makes it.
second shot is no good. He gets it to go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Goes up for two. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Stolen. The point guard gets the pass. Strips the ball. Here they go into the break. Tries for two. They let him get into a rhythm. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. the dribble gives it up intercepted down court pass picked off the ACC has always been a powerful conference hey witnessing some good old ACC basketball here these ACC teams are known for their up tempo fast paced an aggressive style of play. Very difficult to keep up with them. The Catamounts are trailing by six. The Catamounts have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Shoots it. He gets that one to fall. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills the long-range bomb. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Picked out of the air. Working it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. The bucket, and he scores it off the glass. Roberson receives the ball. Here's a double team. Takes it off him. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Dick, that first half was kind of a nightmare, really. Neither team playing very well, and the score wasn't even close. And here we are in the second half, tournament basketball, and this is what we expect. You know, I think, Brad, what happened in the first half, a lot of nervous tension, and it really affected the way they handled the ball, they shot the ball, and now they've time to calm down, and now they're producing. For the deuce, the land. off the lazy pass. Good fake. Pushing that basketball. 
The ball goes out of bounds. The ball goes out of play. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Too physical. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Start things up again. Great defense. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Dump it inside. Wide open for the shot. Up fake. Up fake. He comes away with it. He dials long distance. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Tries for two. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fakes it. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. Gave it up. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's a double team waiting there. Jumped 
in front to take it away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He takes it away. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Vermont are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Gave it up. For two. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Timeout's been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Double team now, bad angle. Take it away. They get it out into transition. Takes away the pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. step back out onto the court. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. 
I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They were in a groove, baby. And when they were in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Shot clock is dead. And the clock stopped with a foul. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. No doubt. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. On the outside, there appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He shoots from long range. He drains it. It's not going to get any easier, baby. The heat's going to keep rising. Regulation couldn't solve anything. These teams are headed into overtime. Dick, the only thing I don't like about this is somebody's got to lose this. When you get to the NCAA tournament, all of a sudden you're in overtime. Five more minutes or more. It can't get much more exciting than this. I'll tell you one thing. The excitement's unbelievable. The place is rocking and rolling. It's surviving advance. And you better make big plays right now. You better get momentum on your side in the OT. In the paint. Goes up for two. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. There's the fake. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. perimeter for the bucket and he scores despite the hat now they work it around the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter great pressure great double team really explosive like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass you better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession for the deuce he doesn't get the hoop to fall looking for a good shot Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Can't get the shot to drop. 
on the outside. He attempts the three. Great shot. Let's go to the instant replay camera. Carter in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from right of the circle. Buries it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Robs him of the ball. Timeout, they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. And let's go back out onto the floor. Crowd pumped up. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. Goes up for two. And in and out. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. Intercepted. Timeout, George. Hey, can we get a drum roll, Mr. Nestler? This one's going down to the last ticks, baby. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He takes the shot off the baseline. Follow them early and give your team a chance. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Gets it. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Moving it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes in. And yet another foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Got it! They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. A whistle and a foul. And Coach not happy in the side of him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Cross court. Picks off the lazy pass. Here's a double team. 
Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. Everything looked good but the result. Timeouts called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. say that and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club but you know you got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night neighbor. Well the better team won because they protected the basketball they made sure they converted on the free throw line they did all the little intangibles we talked about and that was the difference in the game. The Blue Devils is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. It's been a fun game and as always my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews I'm Brad Nessler. Good night everybody.